Alrighty, we are back with a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC, Blueberry Academy, uh, Shane and against uh, Gita wants to talk to us, so let's go. It has been a while. Hey, Akira, Rika's here, too. At your service. Not gonna lie, I never dreamed we'd be running into you. I see that you're putting your skills to good use and living up to your title as Paldea Champion, even while abroad. I'm doing my best. Ha, ah, indeed. I would expect nothing less from a talented trainer such as yourself. Yeah, definitely got talent. Lots of talent. But not enough to get you off the hook. You went into the Great Crater without the League's permission, didn't you? Don't think you're not gonna get a scolding for that. That's what champions do? What's that got to do with anything? You cannot just go breaking the rules willy-nilly. Calm down, Rika. No harm came to him after all. And besides, we have a good reason to believe that all of Paldea would have been at risk if our champion here didn't venture into Area Zero. Well, yeah, I mean, that's true, but... Fine. I'll let you off the hook on this one this time. You'd thank the boss for stepping in. Don't think poorly of Rika. She's just worried for you. Now then. It's time you'll be heading to Area Zero with official... Official leak permission. Only a handful of people know about the incident involving the time machine. However, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I have elected to inform Mrs. Miss Briar of what happened, obfuscating certain details. Speaking of, didn't you say you had something to give to that Briar person? Yes, yes I did. I've forgotten about that. Would you be so kind as to take this from me? We obtained the Indigo Disc! Yay! You put the Indigo Disc into your key item pocket. A mysterious disc with an Indigo shine to it, given to you by the top champion. It seems to be tied to Area Zero. What is that anyway? A TM or something? It's a disc that was sent by an Area Zero researcher to an investor some time ago. I had my investigation team look into it. It is certainly not a TM, nor is it a mere tool for storing data. I honestly have no idea as its true, true purpose, but I assume it has to do with Area Zero. I figured that since you're heading to Area Zero, I might as well ask you to investigate the purpose of this disc while you're here. While he's there, huh? Did you want him to pick up some potato salad on the way back to you? I do ask that you return the disc to me if you end up not finding a use for it. There's still so much we do not know about our Area Zero. I know you've already been to its depths, but please exercise some caution while dealing with the environment and the Pokemon there. As a champion, it falls on you to protect and guide those accompanying you. Wish I could go with you, kiddo, but I've got my own work to do. Do your best down there. But don't push yourself too hard, you hear? Now please excuse us. They are totally dating, aren't they? Okay. Meet up with Miss Briar and the others. Which is in front of the thing, okay. On the entrance. So let's go there. Oh yeah, it's, it's been a while since we last played this game. Um, simply because I didn't have the time or was not in the mood to play it. So, uh, also this is a recording and not a live stream. Just, you know, so you all know. Uh, I just want this project to be finished and, um, you know, have some, you know, play on the offside uh, if I have the mood to it or not, you know. I recently bought a few Switch games, but you know, Pokemon has always a special part in my heart, so... Uh, it would be cool if I could just, you know, go do the terror raids and whatever. And I was not able to do that because we still had the story going on, and... I didn't want you guys to miss it, just because, uh, you know, I was 
too lazy to record it or whatever. So yeah, let's go meet up. Hello Carmine. Mm, I guess they are outside here. No, that that's not here. Where the heck is it? Oh, down there? What the f where? Oh, I talked to the wrong person, didn't I? Okay. Are you ready to travel to Area Zero? Yes. Let's go. Splendid. We're finally ready to set off then. Are you two feeling alright? Well enough to travel at least? Well, I'm... I'm fine, anyway. Yeah, me too. I've had time to calm down. Well, that's good. I'm fine. I know what I have to, what I have to do now. I'll find this legendary Pokemon Area Zero, no matter what it takes. Man, we really broke this person, didn't we? That's the spirit. Alright then, shall we? Let's go. Let's get back to business. Also, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Unite recently, which is an issue. <laughs> uh, and with recently, I mean like the last two days or something. Miraidon just released there and I was like, hmm, maybe I should try to get it. Anyhow, uh, the Scarlet Violet, let's go. We made it, I'm finally here. Area Zero, the place I've dreamed about for years. This is incredible. Wowzers. I forgot he said that. So, you've been here before, right? Yeah, my friends. Friends, huh? Agias. You scared me. You're too big to become popping out like that. Uh, watch your maton. <laughs> So you came here with Cryptid back then too, huh? It must be that Pokemon that was reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. I'm very intrigued by this specimen, but alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the deepest depth of Area Zero. And see what's even deeper. What do you mean, even deeper? Heath mentioned in his writings that he fell off from the depths to some place even deeper. Hold on, doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he could get? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? However, Heath also wrote he, that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down here. If his writings are to be believed, there must be an entire uncharted space below our area zero. Well, either way, we should start by making for the zero lab down in the depths. You take the lead. Okay, can we just fast travel or do we actually have to, you know, walk our way down there? I mean, the good thing is we can mount up. So. Okay, let me see if I can use the. If I can use the fast travel point in there. Yes, I see the item and no, I'm not gonna pick it up. Try me a river. Uh, research the station 4, I guess. I'm guessing we want to go down there, so... And this is the, the closest we can get to down here. And then we have to walk the rest of the way. It's gonna be fine. Oh! No, I didn't mean to! You son of a loving mother! I'm not gonna... Disturb white life. That's not gonna happen. I only disturb them if I want to shiny hunt them. Okay, let's let's just jump down. Uh, I cannot remember. This was the zero lab. At, no, this is where the other thing was. The other Coridon. 
So we are a bit too far, I think. Let me see. Lab entrance, lab entrance. There we are. Hey, look at me, I remember the way for once. <laughs> Hell yeah. Whoa, this place is insane. It reminds me of the crystal pool. This is the zero lab, I take it. The structure's exterior matches Gita's description, at least. So this is the deepest point in area zero? Nope. Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point that Area Zero Expedition managed to reach long ago. You know, I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. However, where I want to go is even deeper than that. So you're saying we should head inside this Zero Lab? It's closed though. Huh? Oh, you're right. What do we do now? You've been here before, right? Gotta disable the lock. The music is not ominous at all. Wowzers! This feels like a spy movie or something. Way cool. But I didn't say anything. Well then, can we count on you to unlock the gate? Nope. We are stuck here forever. It's just not going to happen. Oh, I didn't... heal. I mean, whatever. I can just use my stuff. It's fine. That's what it's here for, right? Oops. Just use the stuff, it's gonna be fine. It's not like I'm short on money or anything. There we go. Now let's save again. And let's go. Hey. Imagine running away. Open the gate? Yes. Access revoked due to prolonged inactivity. Entrance locked. Well, that sucks. What's the matter? Something wrong with that? No, there is. It opened before though, right? Is there some extra stuff we're missing? Um, were there four locks? The professor was in the lab and... I see, so last time you went through a series of steps to unlock the gate. The professor was also there to guide you from the inside. Beep. Boop. Indigo disk detected. Indigo disk detected. It's talking. Insert indigo disk for greater access privileges. Please insert in indigo disk. Relax. Just one of those computerized voices. It's not any different than a TM machine. Dot dot dot. Indigo disk. What could it mean by that? How very convenient that we got one. Gita gave you a mysterious item before we departed, did she? You think that's it? Oh, how fun. Go on. Do it. You have my permission. Please insert Indigo Disk. In you go, Disk! This is not what I read, but okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm 12 years old, I'm sorry. Indigo disk confirmed. Zero lab elevator redirected to area zero under depths. Under depths? Okay. Interesting. Look at that, it opened. Let's head on in. Sure thing. Let's do that. Man. It's been so long since we played this game. I kind of feel bad that I'm just recording it and not streaming, but... We have so much to stream. And I feel like if I just do everything on stream, we never get stuff finished, so... Microscope and various samples have been left here. So, Jules, Lucas, I'm sorry. 
Confusing equations and phrases have scribbled all over this whiteboard. I can see a strange rock life clump of something inside this machine. Can we go to sleep? Oh wow, we could have went to sleep to heal. Now I wasted everything. Well, that's fun. That's wonderful, thank you. Oh man. Oh. What's up? Uh, Carmine found something and destroyed something. It's way too dark in here. I just smacked my hand on something. That's because you're just running around without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk, huh? Shut it. Where's Miss Briar, anyway? She's busy rummaging through, like, a whole stack of documents over there. Aren't those someone's private photos and stuff? We probably shouldn't be looking at all of that. Oh, you're awfully considerate all of a sudden. Miss Briar, look, an elevator. Maybe it can take us further down. You wanted to go down, right? Down, you say? Yes, let's get down to business, lady. Oh my. Did you use this elevator last time to reach the mysterious room I mentioned earlier? I think so. Oh, did you already forget what happened last time you were here? Uh, you know, uh, hi, my name is Cryptid, I forget stuff. That's my whole shtick. Perhaps this is a side effect of prolonged exposure to Area Zero. Well, we've got no time to waste. Let's go down. Alrighty. There we go. Off we go. No more waiting. Let's see what's down there. I'm not sure. Is this like the boss room we were in last time? Are we going or... Because I'm not certain it is. I cannot recall this elevator. Oh, wonderful. This elevator just keeps going further and further down. She is really obsessed with the deep downs, huh? That's what elevators do. You know, it's moving pretty fast, actually. It almost feels like I'm floating. Hey, everyone. That panel we used to unlock the gate. Didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Now that you mention it, yeah, something about an elevator being redirected, right? As far as I know, there's only one elevator inside of the Zero Lab. Wait, how did you know there's an elevator in the Zero Lab, if you've never been here? Oh, uh, the notes, never mind, okay. So the panel must have been referring to the elevator we currently inside. Inside. So where exactly, the, where exactly is this thing taking us? Ho, 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 okay, are you center now? Center Briar? Where indeed? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. It's a long way down. Holy hell. Ooh. Oh my. Oh my goodness. I'm not as fleshed as y'all are. So, what? Are we under Area Zero or something? Yes, according to my data, our current position is far deeper than we will, where we last were. Could the elevator have taken us even further down than its previous destination? Okay, so the Indigo Disk made it that we could access this place. Instead of going to the end game zone of the last of the main game. Man, Area Zero was already a lot to take in. I don't think anyone's gonna surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. Hey. What's all the stuff? Oh. What are desks doing down here? Oh my. Oh my, this is this is a report written by the esteemed Professor Seder. 
A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero, and the slumbers Terrapogos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Its body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears that rousing it will take some time. Terrapagos. Okay. In this cavern, I have witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon occurring in a way I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. Every known type. Okay. I've dubbed this terror type the stellar type. Could Terrapagos influence be it they? Terrapagos is the hidden treasure of Area Zero? It's slumbering in the form of a crystal? And what is this about a stellar terror type? Brilliant. Absolutely marvelous. To think there was such a... so much that Heath didn't write about. These documents are veritable treasure trove. And we've only just begun our expedition. I don't know how she can get so excited in a bizarre place like, place like this. This legendary Pokemon Terrapagos. That's the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Come on, let's hurry up and go further in. I still haven't gotten my fill of those documents, but okay, let's go. No, I'm not gonna make the joke. Okay, whatever. We're not gonna... It would be the best to discover the truth without our own eyes, after all. Let's keep moving. Stay on guard, everyone. Okay. Let's save again. Uh, and I feel like putting you in front. My catching Pokemon Pokemon. This is very shiny and stuff. I'm not as flesh as all of they are, but also I cannot... There are no overworld Pokemon here. Which is weird, because usually you always run into Pokemon. What is this? It's like a crystal trying to be a flower. Completely blocked up the path. Yeah, we're not going any further with this way. Hey, what about Mo Watchamadon? The Pokemon you ride on. Wouldn't it smash through? Let's give it a go. Hold on, hold on, please, hold on. This is quite likely a manifestation of pure terrestrial energy. We have no idea what might happen if we try to destroy it with brute force. Okay, so what do we do then? Hmm. Hmm? Oh, hey. Glee, glee, glee! There are Pokemon all the way down here? I just mentioned how there was no Pokemon here. But okay. And what's going on with those? It seems to be charged with some kind of strange energy. Hey, get back. You know you're not going in a battle, Miss Briar. Icky, no, crit that you should handle this. Okay. Uh, I don't want to use my... Mora. Well, now I have my false swipe and front. That sucks. Hey, Izzy. Okay, so... Oh, that, that's a stellar Pokemon then. That looks funny, funky. I'm not sure... What on earth is that energy? It couldn't be. We just learned about Stella, lady. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch. Yeah, everything is not effective. Except Dirt Pony. Let's go. Let's go, Dirt Pony! Ooh, big pony. That would have been super effective. On... Our other lady. We're not gonna terrestrialize though. Acid armor? Would you not? It survived. Sadness. Okay, let's hit it again. Alright, this is a terrestrialized Pokemon. You cannot one-hit them, they are just gonna lose their shit. I forgot. Okay, we cannot catch it, by the way. Apparently. Yep, 
we cannot catch this Pokemon. So let's just fuck it up, I guess. Sorry. Oh no, the white Glimora fainted. Oh no, whatever will we do? Good work. Oh, Nani? Oh, it disappeared. Did knocking out that sparkling Pokemon make the crystal flower disappear? Just like in that report we found earlier. What we just witnessed was a Pokemon wielding the powers of each type, each and every type. That means it must have had the Stellar Terra type. So, what's all that mean? Wait, was that supposed to be a, the so-called hidden treasure we're looking for? Dot, dot, dot. I can't say for certain, but no, I don't think so. The professor notes that the hidden treasure of Area Zero is slumbering in crystal form. The Glimora you just fought of doesn't fully fit that description, so I don't think it's the Pokemon the professor called Teropagos. Well, the only way to know if it was the hidden treasure or not is to keep going. Come on. Okay, I guess I'm not using my false swiper in the party then, since they forced battles on us. Okay, let's uh, let's put the dirt pony in front and auto heal her. Um, Stellar terror shards. Okay. So that means we can actually get Stellar Pokemon. So why didn't it let me catch it then? Interesting. I heard a oh up there. Oh no. What are you? Oh you're a copying thing. I don't care about you. I'm pretty sure I already have you. We cannot talk to that. It is kind of unnerving down here. If I'm being completely honest. I rarely had it that um, a Pokemon game sets the mood, and this 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 is really unnerving at the moment. This this chill vibe. Oh, what what are you? Your flying thing. Uh, yeah, we, we're gonna stay with Dirt Pony, I think. Hello. It seems we found another one of those crystal flowers. With the terrestrial energy that's saturating the air by condensating into a crystallized form. Jesus. Yeah, whatever. Oh boy. Oh, no, 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 don't fall down, don't fall down. Falling down is not an option for you. Oh, it's a Neuburn. Okay. Is there something up here? There is. Clear Blitz. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure what Neuburn's weaknesses are, but... Third Pony will handle it, I think. Maybe. Neuber. Go to her pony. It terrestrialize. It's fine. Okay, let's see. Everything is not effective. It's fine. And your tail went me. I'm gonna stomp you. And I'm gonna stomp you again. Could you not heal? It would be really cool. Oh, okay. Are, are we gonna play this game now, huh? Okay. Oh, sure. Whatever. You're so boring, Neuvern. 
<laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? I it's not worth it. Let's go, Susie. You got this. Oh, now you're playing Tailwind. Now that I switched out and could, could have got me, huh? You asshole. Oh, man. I, could, I should have kept stomping. <laughs> Oh, what a shame. Okay, can we catch it? No, we cannot. You already have Tailwind. So... Die. Hooray! Good job, Susie. Hey. Hey, come in, is clapping. Good job, the crystal thing is gone. Let's go. Huh. Alrighty, let's move on. How many of those stops do we have? That Pokemon's called Coridon, right? Boy, oh, it can really jump. We're all on a roll, let's keep going. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's a big one. You know, I actually have to search for the Pokemon, huh? Okay. Okay, we cannot climb up here, can we? Oh, we can. Uh, okay, so it's not over there. There's another one closed off. It's not you, is it? No, leave me alone. I don't want to fight you. This is where we came from. I mean, it has to be up there then. This is the only way it shows us, so... Yo, Kabink! Yo, yo! Don't be rude! There's an item here, though. Blizzard! So... Do I have to kill Kabink for that? It is not shiny thingy, sparkly though. Okay, it's not. It's just kill it like this. Okay, that didn't do it. That's fair. I don't see it. I don't see it. Like, there are multiple Pokemon here this time because we have one little stone, one big stone that we have to get rid of. It doesn't seem to be upstairs. Don't see it. Okay. Let's talk to them and see what happens. Another one. Where's the sparkly critter? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's walk back and see if we can find one back there, I guess. There's one all the way back there. But this is not the way we came in from, no? It's weird. Okay. Uh, I'm 
pretty sure we have to go down here to get up there, so... Man, this place is a mess. Can someone clean that up, please? Alrighty. What are you? I don't see what you are. Oh, that's a magneton thingy. Um, I guess we take Koshiel for that? Maybe? Uh oh. <laughs> I saved it. Yeah, that's that area is a one magnet magnet on thing. I don't know what its weakness is, so I mean, I like the idea of I like the idea of seller type Pokemon, but for the story part, I don't think this fits so well. Like, not the story itself, but you know that you have to kill stellar Pokemon to get, move on. Like, it just feels super lazy. Usually I'm defending the game on most of the things, but yeah, you go here, kill one Pokemon, move on, kill one Pokemon, move on. What's the point? Might have just, you know, made it in a more fun way instead of your uh, happy platforming dude, you know? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like that. We'll, we'll see. We still have a bit to go, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's gone. Happy clapping. Oh, the path opened up. Shocker. Thank you. Could have seen that one coming. I'm gonna take the item with me, though. I know it's the longer way there, but whatever. Free stuff. I will never say no to free stuff. Alrighty. Moving on. Sorry, we have to, we have you doing all the work. We really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm used to it. Now then. It appears the terrestrial energy around us is growing more dense the farther down we go. Come, we have no time to lose. So I've also been considering um, the new Pokemon Legends game was announced today, yesterday. And I've been considering doing a Legends Arceus playthrough since I still have to finish this game. Um, so maybe this will be a side uh, thing for me to do. A side project besides Elden Ring. That's still gonna happen. I didn't start yet, but it's gonna happen. Trust. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, there might be a chance for, for some Legends Arceus playthroughs on my second channel. On my uh, recording only channel. It's gonna be, uh... Now, at the moment, it's empty, my second channel. It's linked in my channel description, by the way. Um, but as soon as, you know, Elden Ring pops off or Pokemon or, you know, maybe another short game that I'm recording, then, um, I'm gonna make a, make a video for it for you guys to, you know, be like, oh... There's a new channel, let's go! There's a new project on that channel. So let's sub there, because uh, we love to support our friends. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know where I wanted to go with that one. Hello, Carmine. Your hand looking around in the water. 
I don't want to get back close to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Hello, friend. What are you? A sojourner. Uh, Susie, that's your turn. Hello. So yeah, if you want uh, to be kept up with uh, stuff, at the moment the new channel is empty, but uh, it doesn't hurt to already sub there, right? Also, while you're at it, subscribe here too. Thank you. Giga Gaga Gaga. Gaga Gaga. And who knows? Maybe uh, I will do. Maybe I will. I will just say whatever and upload everything on the bot channel. But I don't think I will. Because people are very lazy and think a bot channel is only bot channel and whatever. And yeah, I don't want to do that. I wanna. Wait, I can terrestrialize without. Oh yeah, we're down here. That's the thing, right? I forgot about that. So yeah, uh, I wanna keep that sorted between VOD and recording channel, but you know, if I started a game on stream and I wanna finish it as a recording, I'm gonna do that and it, you know, stays in the VOD channel. I think that's all how I'm gonna handle it, because I don't want to have both projects on two different, um, on two different channels, you know. I've been considering doing that with uh, Slay the Princess, but since we have a... Uh, since we have a schedule now, a day in the schedule for our uh, visual novel and dating sim games, um, I I'm gonna keep going, keep doing that in you know the VOD channel here. So yeah. Oh, Kiki, your turn to call over Cryptid. Maybe he'd rather have you do it. Quit your blabbering, just do it. Also, hey, the path opened up. We can keep going. Thank you. So, the deal is, um, currently my schedule is on hold. I'm recording this on my off time, if you will. Because my health issue came back. And, um, yeah, I have to get that sorted out. My infos will be out on March. I will, you know, do that. So, if you want to be updated on what's up with the streaming schedule or what the current uh, current games are that we're gonna play in, you know, uh, just join the Discord or check out the game list uh, down below in the description. Like, I'm not gonna post the Discord link down there because um, people are weird with Discord and public stuff. So, um, if you wanna join the Discord, you there is a way for you to get there if you really wanted to, so <laughs> I'm not gonna make it a secret, but I'm not gonna make it, you know, that public that people can use uh, screwing bots in there and stuff. Okay. Well, Kiki, isn't there something you wanted to say to Cryptid? No, not really. Just feels like we're all relying a bit too much on him as all. Well. We should keep going. Oh no, he's gonna die. Ah, he's so stubborn. You two are simply dazzling as always. Just so you know, we were also fending off white Pokemon while you were away. There is not a single Pokemon around. Stop lying. So me and my team are just about spent. You didn't do shit. Since just all I've got left, so if something happens, you better save me. Nah, I'm good. Okay, this seems kind of final here, so... Okay. Hello! My terror off, I think it's reacting to something. Your ball is re reacting? Oh no. Mine is too. I'm picking up a truly astounding level of terrestrial energy. It seems to be coming from in here. Are we finally at the finish line? The hidden treasure. My treasure. Where do you think you're going? 
Oh, I can't wait another second. The truth behind the Scarlet Book is so close now. What? Well, not you two. Those two sometimes, I swear. You're not better than them. We should head in too, but no rushing. At least we can show some composure. Okay, let's save again. Because I'm paranoid like that. You know, people give this game a lot of shit, but I'm still enjoying myself a lot. Even with a minor... Is the floor supposed to be like that? Um... I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Let me just restart the game really quick. Okay, so apparently it is supposed to be black, so... Okay, that's fine with me. I don't mind. It's a weird choice, but I don't mind. I was just not sure, because, you know... I had some bugs during my normal playthrough, so it looks so weird. What is this place? The vibes here are, are on a different level. The hidden treasure. Where is it? There, Kieran, up ahead. There's something among those pillars. There's something among us. I hate myself for that one. Okay. It's a little bean. The stones, the hidden treasure? Give me a moment, I just need to check something. Don't touch it! If I can get the hidden treasure of Area Zero, I can finally beat him! If you're still going on about that nonsense? Shut it! Cryptid has everything I've ever wanted. He's got strong Pokemon, he can go anywhere he wants, and he can be friends with anyone. I loved Ogapon since forever ago, but even Ogapon chose him over me. You did your best too. Even you. You were being all nasty toward him at first, but then boom, you were like best friends in no time. I, well... I've got nothing. I worked so hard and for what? I still lost in the end. This is all I have left now. On it. This crystal's definitely what we're looking for. Go on, Kiran. Follow with everything you got. She's so oblivious. <laughs> also, am I imagining things or are her eyes weird all the fucking time when she talks about that stuff? Show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero. She looks so weird. I'm not sure if it was all the time. Oh, he did it. It's the Legend of Zelda Ruby. Zelda Ruby. There's no doubting it. This crystal must be Terrapagos. Uh -huh. What the? Okay, I get it now. Teropagos, Galapagos, okay. I got it. Yeah, fine. Oh no. Not again. <laughs> He's throwing a master ball. Okay. Damn. Good job, Kieran. You caught a legendary Pokemon. <laughs> Damn. Where did he get a master ball from? Damn boy. That was Terrapagos, he caught it, right? Finally. The rock has come back. Okay, sorry. Well done, Kyrion. The fact you brought along a master ball tells me you were well prepared for this. Now I can study Terrapagos whenever I want, but there is no time like the present. I think you could give me a little demonstration of Terrapagos power right now. Well, you heard her gripped it. I'm also itching to see what Terrapagas can do. Get ready so we can start. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we... Do I have that guy here? Or did I put them put them in the... Okay, let, let, let me search uh, if we have Ogapon here. 
If not, I'm, I, I have it in the box in the thing, but uh, I hope I don't. Ah, oh, man. I wish I would have put Ogre Pod in front, but oh man. I guess that's not happening then. Uh, give them an item to hold. I, I didn't care enough to do that. So let's see. What can we give them? Uh, something water or ice stuff. Mystic water is good. Then we can give them something with fire. Let's go from bottom to top. I think that's faster. Do we have something for fire? Mm, choice bags. Uh... I'm not sure about choice bags. Bustle band doesn't help. We don't have anything for that. Eh, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Let's go, Kieron. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad that I put Ogre Pond in Pokemon Home now. I can I didn't I didn't think we were gonna fight him again. Well that sucks. I hope you braced yourself. This time I'll definitely beat you. Oh no, we are challenged by Kieran. Let's go, Susie. Go, Terrapagos. Show Cryptid what you've made of. And I'm so sad that we cannot put. Uh... Oh, it's an actually boss fight. Okay. Oh wow, hey. That transformation is cool. I like that. Um, let's try Aurora Beam first. So this is the true hidden in treasure's form? With this, I can win for sure. Okay, Sun Headbutt. I have no idea what kind of Pokemon that is. It's distorting time matchups. Type matchups, okay. Uh, let's add Hydro Pump. I wonder if there's a way to tell... Oh, come on, Susie. Don't flinch. Good job, Susie. Oh, water is... Ooh. Ah. Terrapagos' power should be far greater than this. Could it be that we're missing something? Also, he's just using Zenhead, but so... I guess that's it. Can we steal the Pokemon with a Master Ball? Okay, <laughs> that's the wrong. That, that's another game. Man, I miss Pokemon Colosseum. I never played XD though. Uh, Gale of Darkness. I have never played that, but Colosseum was really fun. Okay, Kiron, what now? I thought that was an actual fight. I thought I just had tap Terrapagos. If I had the hidden treasure of Area Zero, Area Zero, it would make me stronger. I thought it let me beat Cryptid. I'm sorry that I didn't. That's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. Its terrestrial energy output is far too low. Not to mention the fact that it looks different from the illustration in the Scarlet Book. So, Terrapagos isn't the hidden treasure? No, I'm sure it is. We must be missing something. A way to transform it into the treasure. Of course, Terrapagos is made of terrestrial energy. You must terrestrialize Terrapagos in ins this instant. If my hunch is correct, Terrapagos will resonate, resonate with the energy of your Terra Orb. And the hidden treasure will finally reveal its true br brilliance. Got it. Do it for the people. Do it for the rock. Okay, what's up? I knew it. The Scarlet Book was right. Terrapagos in its fully awakened form. This is the hidden treasure of Area Zero. 
Oh, damn. Even has a crown. Nodders. Uh oh. Things are getting out of hand. You should return to Rod Agos to its ball. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Damn. It, wow. It broke the master ball? That's rude. It won't go back inside. Why? Damn, this is... Damn. <laughs> okay. Now this is a boss fight. Okay, I still have no idea what what its weakness is. Its energy output is going haywire. We're all in serious danger. I'm sorry, kids, but please, you need to st stop Terrapagos. Come on, you need to do something too. We've got to get Terrapagos under control. This wasn't supposed to happen. This is all my fault. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, and it has a shield, huh? Okay. Oh, man. Thank you for the heal, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, and we cannot terrestrialize. That's sad. Terra Star Storm. Oh, damn. Okay. That's not a lot of damage. Is this using a barrier to reduce damage? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I've done some raid battles before. Sadly, we cannot. Mm. I have no idea what Terra Starstone is. It, it looks like Barry or something? Okay, this is not gonna help. Um. Oh, Shush. I don't have Terra, terra thing. Okay, oh, I can, I can now, okay. Um, I guess I'm... Okay, let, let's go with the Dirt Pony and see what they can do. I wanna know what its weakness is before anything else. No, it's knocked out. This isn't good. It's just too strong. Yeah, I'm sorry, Carmine. I went in here unprepared. That's my fault. Okay, we're back to head button. That didn't help. So it's not this. Let's try double kick. Like, if we know it's weakness... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, that's not it either. Oh, it is! It's super effective, okay. Um... Okay, Cushy Hell can deal with that, then. I'm sorry about that, third pony, but you're gonna die here. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, Slitherwing is gonna deal with that then. The uh, Kushiel, I'm sorry. Its name is Kushiel. There we go. Let's battle Terrasolize and Superpower. If I knew that beforehand, I could have gotten Dirt Pony doing it, but, you know. Cannot change it, right?
Yeah, look at that. And the shield's broken. Wonderful. It absorbed terrestrial energy. Oh, okay. So we don't have the terraform anymore. It absorbed terrestrial energy? Nani? Oh, and it got another shield. That's rude. And it changed its type. Oh my god. I wonder if you can tell which... Yeah, get in there, Battle Peaky. It's no good, I'm useless. Okay, so it has a different type now. Uh, I don't know, is, is that in top telling me that it's ice? Or what? I mean, Leech Trap is super effective, so... Bug is good. Ouch. So the issue is... I think Kushiel is gonna die here. I'm gonna double check and see if... Um, our Nine Tails can deal with that. If not, I'm gonna have to revive. Like, it, it looks like all the way on the top it says it's ice, but... Oh, shush. Stop backseating me, goddammit. Let's go with an Inferno. No, that's not it, okay. But it's burned, so that's good. This is an interesting boss fight. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna next revive uh, our Kushiel, I think. Oh, the burn does a lot of damage too, though. Okay, max revive our Kushiel. And then we're gonna leech like the rest of it. I bet there's a way to tell which type it is, but I just cannot see it at the moment. Uh... Yeah, no, my... Sorry. I'm sorry, Akira. But it cannot be helped. Kikushia. It's your turn to shine. Okay, so what does first impression do? Okay. It does a lot of damage, so. And with the leech alive next turn we should be fine. I need to see if something changes. Once uh, it does its switcheroo thing. It could have at least given me one free hit or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm not terraformed, so. You need your head room. I'm gonna do it on my own, it's fine. I can't hurt anyone. Just get your ass over here. Come on. Be a good boy. Rawr. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go Hydrapple. We got this.
Okay, the question is... Yeah, nothing changes. You just have to guess. Oh, man. I'll help out too. Good job. Better late than never, I guess. The two of you need to clean this whole mess up. As usual. Okay, let's... Try superpower again. Actually, let's try with wing beat first. Nope. That's not it. So, does... Oh, what is Syrup Storm? For an attack, is that like... Bug? Let's leech life then. It seems to be super effective, okay. It works. No, it was not super effective, okay. What kind of attack is this syrup thing? I have no idea. Hmm. The good thing is the defense fell, so. Dragon Shear. Just keep syrup bombing, dude. I'm gonna die this turn. Come on. Step up your game, Kiron. So if it wasn't Buck, it's probably Grass, right? We don't have Grass attacks. Yet. Oh, we do. We have Steed. Let's go Steed, Bonnet. Uh, let's just go straight up with the Giga Drain. Like, it, it wasn't Buck, so it has to be Grass, right? The Zero thing. I cannot, I cannot think otherwise. And I am... Right, let's go. Bonk. One more time. Oh, or not? It looks like it can't absorb any more energy or put up another barrier. Time to attack! Time to end this, you two! You have not permission to go all out! Giga Drain. Oh no. It was faster than we are. Yeah, we got it. Nice! Th that was a really fun... Boss fight. That was really, really fun. I like that. That's really cool. Maybe it'll go inside a ball now. I know I can count on you. You got this. Lego. Okay, which ball are we gonna use for the tortoise? Uh... Hmm. <laughs> can I friend ball it? I only have one though. Hmm. Let's see what else do we have. Hmm. I feel like it has to be the friend ball, huh? Yeah. Let's go. Be my friend. Damn it. Be my friend or else. Jing. Hey. Terrapagos was caught. We got it.
Is it over? Is everyone okay? Yep, how about you? I'm fine, thank you. Perfectly unharmed. I let my obsession lead you all in a very dangerous situation. It is simply inexcusable. I'm so sorry. You should be. You're completely fi fixated on this terrestrial stuff. Gotta keep your obsessions, obsessiveness in check. Yes, you're absolutely right. I messed up too. I looked up to Cryptid for so long. I wanted to be like him so badly. I didn't know what else to do. But I guess I just don't have it in me to be like him after all. Finally, I can let it go. You're really cool too. But I just... Wah, wah, I'm Twitch shit. Okay, sorry. That, that's a clip on the thing. It's, don't, don't mind that. Whatever. I swear, I've got such a silly young brother. You finally let it go. Wah. You two must have been so scared. But you all shone brilliantly just now. You were truly dazzling. And in the end, our cryptid even managed to catch Sharapagas. So I think we can consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to Blueberry Academy. Wah. <laughs> 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 Man, I love my Twitch clips between my breaks. If you're not watching without my own stream, you're missing out. Woo, finally home. I need to get in touch with Vita. No, scratch that, I need to whatever. Hey, grip that. Look, I know I caused a lot of trouble for the League Club and everyone. I wanted to give everyone a proper apology. Including you. I'm sorry. And I guess what I'm trying to say is... I want to make things right. So, do you think... We could start over from zero and be friends again? We never stop being friends, asshole. Fucking idiot. Hey! We're gonna leave you two behind if you don't hurry up. Hey, what a happy ending. That was sweet. I know I'm making a lot of fun of Kiran and uh, Carmine, but you know, I really, I really started liking them. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah, very fun DLC. Um, we missed about an hour. That's fine. Man, really good, really fun. Uh. Really fun DLC. Is there something else in here? Okay, we need to keep it going, so... Oh, man. So... My thoughts uh, on the second DLC. It was fun. Uh, I haven't taken the time to collect all the Pokémon there, so I don't know which Pokémon I'm missing. Um, so... It's gonna be interesting to see when I, you know, catch that up. And, you know, do some more terror raids, because uh, I kind of want to get the Pokemon Day um, exclusives, like Venusaur and stuff, so I get to do some collecting, and uh, yeah, overall, people gave this game so much shit. Sure, it has a few bugs, it has some FPS things, but I don't think it, it's my favorite game, but it's in my top five, for sure. Like, my top five is probably stuff like um, Crystal. Emerald, Omega Ruby, Sun, uh, Ultra Sun Moon, and um, this one. Shield is up there too. Eh, you know what? Maybe in my top six then, because Shield is better than this one in my opinion. But okay, it's whatever. Um, they tried something new, and I didn't mind that. So, yeah. I'm really enjoying this game. I, I'm really, you know, spend my time in there and that's fine. Um, Story-wise, well, Blueberry Academy left me, you know, a bit behind. The main story was fine. Uh, I enjoyed the main story more than this one, but the end boss battle did a really good job, so... 
Uh, I hope this is not getting DMCA'd. <laughs> because everything I just say then is gonna be muted. Hell yeah. Uh, so, no. Um, overall, good game. Um, if it didn't have the big box in the beginning when I bought it, like, I lost my save file once because of a bug and uh, that felt really bad. But since that has been fixed, uh, I didn't encounter that many bugs that were really like, yeah, that's a no-go for me. Sure, it's a big company, it should be better. Yep, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna defend that. It should be better, sure. But at least they are trying something new. And this is a big step forward for me. I just hope that, um, you know, they're not I hope that they're not just listening to those guys and um, they're trying to, you know, mess them up. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. But my facet is, good game, if you want to buy it, um, it is worth the full price for me. But that's just me because I'm a Pokemon nerd. I love everything surrounding Pokemon. I love the TCG, I love the normal games, I love Mystery Dungeons, you know. The only thing I don't like is Pokemon Sleep. <laughs> Because it's rec recording your mic, so I'm not, uh, that app was down there, down faster than it went up. Um, but otherwise, I, I, I even love the Magikarp Android game they made a while back. Like Magikarp Splash, Magikarp Splash or something. So, yeah, that was really fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm a huge Pokemon fan. This was worth it for me, even with the hassle in the first year. And I cannot wait what the next game will, is gonna be. So, yeah. I'll see you then. This is an announcement for the following student, Crypted from Naranja Academy. Miss Briar would like to see you in Classroom 1-4. She has some important news to share with you regarding the so phenomenon. Okay, let's go there. I figured there would be some end game thing that uh, I still want to share, so uh, we're gonna share that real quick. Hey, Cryptic, glad to see you. You're feeling rested and recovered above the, after our big adventure down the underdeps. Yep. Oh, you youth is really an an, an, an inviolable thing. Ugh. I'm still feeling all wrung out, despite having been back for a while now. But on to why I called you here. Since our return, I've been writing up everything we discovered. Honestly, I've hardly slept. I obtained Gita's permission to turn in it all into a book, but don't worry. I've made sure to skip a few details and omit the names for, of those involved. A proof copy of the book, perishly delivered from a publisher, just for you. Thank you. A proof copy of the exploration notes covering the Area Zero underdubs. It's filled with uh, long paragraphs describing what happened, along with Briar's thoughts. I behaved recklessly in the underdubs. I don't know what we would have done if it weren't for you. You truly deserve a copy of this book. I just hope it's sufficient as apology. But there was something else I needed to check in with you. Would you mind showing me your tarot? There you go. Always on hand. I thought as much. It's behaving just like Kiron's and Kamine's orbs. I think it might be because the orbs were directly exposed to the energy of Terrapagos. Kiran in command says that ever since the Underdeps, they've been able to terrestrialize their Pokémon without charging the Terra orbs. Oh nice. Actually, there's one more piece of news I should share with you related to those deepest depths. You know the Terrarium core that hangs from the ceiling? Well, until now, I'd be keeping it topped up with a mixture of Paldean soil and water from the crystal pool. That's how we've been able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomenon on our academy grounds. But the other day I tried adding crystals I collected from the underdeps so that makes sense. It caused the properties of the core to change. The result? Pokemon shining in rainbow colors have started appearing all over the terrarium. And they all have the stellar type. Thanks to this, my research into terrestrial phenomenon is shining brighter than ever. Stellar type terrestrialization grants a boost to moves, but only once per move time. Well, once per move time is good. Damn. After you use a move, no one 
No other moves of that same type will get a boost. In terror battles, all raids will be boosted without limit. That's awesome. Okay. There was one last thing. The man in a blue suit was looking for you over by the entrance. That's all I have to report. I'm off to pay a visit to my publisher, so I'll leave you to it. Next time we meet, I'll ask you for a good long look at Terrapagos. Till then. Yeah, Terrapagos will be in Pokemon Home. So, you're never gonna see lady. Just head to the entrance then. See the, the figure in blue. The king in yellow, blue. <laughs> okay, let's save real quick. Just making sure. Wait. Uh, blue, blue, blue. They all have blue. Oh, oh. Would you look at the cut of your jib? You must be the everyone's talking about. You're the party and exchange student. Snacks, I do love to see young new students putting some real effort into self-improvement. Especially the kids who really give their all for the old barbecues. I reward them with snacks. These snacks I make are very special treats, made just for the tastes of certain Pokemon. With one of my snacks in hand, you may find yourself running into a quite spectacular Pokemon. So give all snacks the latest whenever you have heard from the barbecues. Okay. I'm not sure. Is this the guy that... Wanted to talk to me. Uh, okay. Is there. Wasn't there like a quest marker somewhere? No. I'm kinda. They did say the entrance, no? Uh, I guess that was the guy then. Okay, let's talk to him again. Uh, okay, so quest stuff, whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I didn't do any barbecue stuff yet, so... I guess uh, that's about to be it then. Thank you for all, um, and thank you all for hanging here, and I appreciate you all waiting for the end of this playthrough. I know it has been a while, and I appreciate you all, you know, um, chipping your uh, opinions in. Like, our team was made from people that were in my Discord, and, uh, yeah. I was really happy with our playthrough of the DLCs, and uh, I'm happy to see where the next goes. It's probably gonna be Legends Arceus, um, but we will see, maybe not. Depends on what I want to do or not. So thank you all for hanging and I'll see you all next time. Take care.